and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you are watching this video later on over there for some more Simic Elves. Played this deck a couple of times and have been really impressed with how strong it is. We're changing up just a couple of small things. So we've had two Beast Whisperers in the deck uh, because, you know, they're an elf, they draw cards. Instead of those Beast Whisperers, I want Van to try Vanquisher's Banners instead. Banner also uh, draws cards whenever you play any of your elves. The only difference is whenever we play Hydra Crisis, we won't draw a card anymore. So that's only one thing that we won't draw a card off of where Beast Whisperer would have drawn the card off of the Jellyfish Hydra Beast. But... Uh, for that trade-off, all of our elves are going to get plus one, plus one, which means Marwyn can add more mana, Steel Leaf can hit harder, all of that kind of stuff. Um, we can have Growth Chamber Guardians can be five fives now that survive finality, because, you know, before you can make them five fives with, like, having Clan Callers out, but the Clan Caller will die to finality. So now we can have, like, the, the Guardians with the Banner out can survive finality. And the other thing is Banner is kind of difficult to deal with. Beast Whisperer, you can just lightning strike it, you know, you just kill it. It's pretty easy. It's just a creature. But it's harder to, to destroy artifacts. A lot of decks struggle with those, and in particular, if we think about, like, Esper Control, they have a lot of ways to kill creatures. They can just use a Sweeper, and there goes the Beast Whisperer, cast down, you know, whatever. But they don't really have artifact removal, you know, besides, like, Teferi. It's kind of it. So hopefully it's a more problematic permanent for our opponents. And... Uh, that's what we got. The other thing we're, we're trying out is we've, ha we've had four Marwins always in the deck because Marwin is amazing, but it is a legendary 1-1 one, one for three mana. So let's maybe try cutting it down and putting a Vivian in the main deck because Vivian also amazing. So that's what we got. We are elves. We're going to try to play a lot of creatures really quickly and uh, get a, a fast aggressive start and then back it up with some Frilled Mystics and uh, counter our opponent's spells and win the game. That's the plan. So here we go, Simic Elves. Don't really want a Mortal Sun in the sideboard because we're, we're playing Vivian's. Like, I, th I think Vivian's probably better for us than a Mortal Sun would be. Uh, Spyglass would basically be just for Teferi, and that's reasonable. But I think we have a lot of other stuff for the Esper matchup that we don't necessarily need that. <clears throat> All right, good hand. I like that we get the Simic Gilgate uh, in play right away. Get that out of our hand. Stop the ground. Why would you want to stomp around on the ground? Hmm. So holding up Frilled Mystic this turn doesn't make a lot of sense because our opponents are probably just going to be activating their Growth Chamber Guardian. Huh. But <clears throat> now we can just have Frilled Mystic available for our opponent's next play. And then, and then drop double clan caller. Block Druid, they take 12. That's probably fine. That was a good start. Dude, doesn't it? This Frilled Mystic does look amazing. Ooh, love it. Alright, let's get another Melody. And... Maybe more Thorn Lieutenants. We 
feeling like we don't need Vivian. And uh, maybe not more Thorn Lieutenants. I think I do want Banner. Yeah, we want Banner. Mystic Week on the draw versus Rhythm of the Wild is very fair. That, that is very fair. We'll probably trim that. Alder 2 with the Twitch Prime sub for the third month. Thank you, Alder 2. Keeping this hype going. Eighth sub of the day. We'll get to your question here in just a second. Yeah, I think I think I like getting a couple frilled mystics. Card's so good though. But yeah, that'll work. Alright. Uh hey Todd, hope all is well. All is well. Thank you. Any exciting cards that have you've already spotted in War of the Spark? Yeah, there seems to be just a lot of good planeswalkers. I mean, that's that's the thing. It's just a set with you know 36 planeswalkers. There's going to be uh, some good ones, and so you know if there's like you know 10 good constructed planeswalkers out of 36, that's still 10 good constructed planeswalkers. Even though that may not sound like a, a huge ratio, um, but that is so many. And I've been a little surprised at how little. Well, there is certainly some, but I was expecting more interaction for Planeswalkers in the set than what there is. Um, but yeah, it's it's my kind of set. I really like Planeswalkers. I'm definitely, you know, somebody that enjoys playing with Planeswalkers quite a bit in my decks. And so I'm going to be, I'm already excited about that. There's some of them that I don't really... There's some of them that I don't really love, you know, like ones that I'm, I'm not going to really enjoy, like Teferi, as the chat's talking about right now. And I don't really like Rao. Like, you know, I'm not, not going to be happy dying to some Rao combo with some explosions or whatever. Hey, thank you so much, Spanky. Spanky getting all of the cheers in here. Oh, that's very kind of you, Spanky. Thing. Keep up the keep up the great con or keep up the great work. Love the content. There we go. Ah, reading's hard. <clears throat> so we have a, a difficult choice to make here. Clan caller is free. It's so like I can play cr clan caller. Like, basically, I could play Clan Caller, then Clan Caller, then Banner. Or I could just play Banner. The reason why playing just Banner would make sense is because then afterwards, when we start playing Clan Callers, we draw cards. Because um, then if I go Clan Caller, Clan Caller first, and then Banner, I may not have a creature to actually start drawing cards off of Banner next turn. So I'm actually just going to lead with the banner and then start dropping free clan callers next turn that cycle. Will this deck play new Nyssa? Honestly, not sure. I don't, I don't know, honestly. Ooh. Well, I want to take that Phoenix. So if we take Phoenix, we don't have, okay. Huh. If I take Phoenix, I can't play these other things this turn. That's probably okay. Because I need the double blue. So I can't. Can't use them. We gotta wait a turn for these. So new Nissa is. Let's see, what does the card do exactly? Looking for it. 
There, no, that's new Vivian. Hmm. New Nissa. Three GG. Five. Whenever you have four mana, add one. And plus one, put three. One counters on up to one target non land creature or non creature land. Oh yeah, that card. I don't think so, honestly. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, that card's great with Krasis, of course. Alright, draw a card. Look at those... Little cute growth chamber guardians our opponent has. Let's grab these things out. and elves with a very impressive showing there get to really see what marwin does marwin goes crazy and for the person that asked earlier of like why do you have entrancing melody in your deck you saw you know you saw it right there really with taking that rekindling phoenix it's a it's a good removal spell and our deck kind of needs some removal No lands. No lands. Hmm. No, this hand's not very good. But five cards is kind of rough. Putting the clan caller down to the bottom, I want mana creatures. We have four land of war elf, four incubation druid, three Morrowind. We got eleven of them in eleven of them in here. Those are the cards I want to see right now. Tier two deck, I'd take that. Most likely losing this game. We'll see. We could really use Entrancing Melody, taking that Wild Growth Walker, that would be big. Yep, that's a problem. Every fight so can... makes me stronger. So if I play Banner, it dies to Vivian. At least we uh, trade with the Jade Light, I suppose. Comes. If they if they Jade Light the Growth Chamber Guardian, like I could see them taking the banner. Okay. If they Jade Light the Growth Chamber Guardian, then at least they don't have the. Or sorry, if they Hostage Taker, <laughs> that at least they don't have the Hostage Taker for Krasis. Interesting.
Well, I guess our opponent is going to be trying to ultimate their Vivian. Doesn't look good for us here, but... They, as long as they ultimate Vivian, like they're so far ahead that they don't really need to kill the banner. You know, I'm, I'm hoping here that they have to kill Krasis with Vivian. That'll give me time. No one knows the wilds this is bad. like I do. Do not find Taker. Okay, good. Not hostage Taker. That's good. Don't. Ah. I despise tyrants like you. So for this matchup, it kind of looks like Beast Whisperer would be better than Banner for us. Definitely want Disdainful Stroke. Definitely want the other Melody. Um, do I want Carnage Tyrant or something? Like the Banner, like if they're playing Vraska, Vivian, I think this is just not going to stay alive, right? The problem with cutting banner is it, it does make my deck a whole lot worse against finality. My decks are really bad against finality without banner. Because banner keeps Steel Leaf and Growth Chamber Guardian and cards like that alive. Our hand was really bad. Of all our accelerants we couldn't find that last game. What if we go with this? So is would I rather have Vivian or Banner? Yeah, I don't really play removal. Oh, I think oh you're talking about a different deck, I think. Play Vivian. We need a lot, lot faster start. And I think I probably should just mulligan to five that last game. Oh man. If we just had one more land, we could play Druid on two, Marwin on three, we'd get to start going, and this hand would be really nice. We just had one more land. Seriously? Yeah, I could see this deck playing mass manipulation. I could see that. I could see the... Yeah, I could see there being some mass manipulate in the, in the board. Man, why can't why can't I have turn one land or elf turn two incubation druid? I have so many more land or elves and incubation druids. Don't know what their plan is. Why are they not why are they not shocking in that watery grave there? So that they can activate Incubation Druid on Instep if they don't want to do anything else. They're just that dedicated on casting of Rasa's Contempt on a Marwin. There's no reason not to shock there. I'm on a Mold of Five. Pretty good turn four play.
Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a loss for us. But we'll see. Maybe not. We could still win this. I'd like our opponent to play Vivian. You can't find the Monored Crisis on Stream Decker. It's the it's the second most recent deck. It's the only other deck from today. Um, I can. Uh, I can pull it up for you. Here you go. Oh wait, I can't. Oh, I can't link here. Uh, Dex. I forgot the linking thing for me is wrong. But yeah, go to just the the regular Stream Decker page with all the decks there, and it's the other one from today. All right, one and one. Man. Deck's not helping us here. I oh, know that Mono Red Crisis deck was good. Yeah, it was. I was expecting it to do well. Yeah, I wasn't surprised by the five wins. Honestly, it's a good deck. Like Mono Red mid range is good with, and uh, Crisis is kind of the finisher that I was looking for. It fits really well. Okay, we can try this. Okay, um, Mono Crisis is almost ready to go up on YouTube. Well, it is ready, but I have to just make the thumbnail for it, basically. Alright, looks like maybe we're playing against Sultai again. So hopefully we can have a little bit better showing for our deck than what we had last game. No, it's it's not the mono red crisis is not red deck wins whatsoever. It's the it's the big red deck. It's not it's not it's not an aggro deck.
Hmm. We have a lot of different routes here. I guess I don't really have to be that worried about finality right now. But if they have contempt, I would rather they contempt. I don't mind trading that a jade light there. I don't. I'd rather them contempt the crisis than contempt. Like if they were just holding up contempt there, I don't want to just play Vivian into it. Yeah, and that's that's fine. Come to me. And hopefully the Frilled Mystics just lock them out of the game. I think they should. I think they should. Yeah, but where to, to see that deck? Yeah, just go that link that people are putting there. You can see you can find the Mono Red Crisis deck there. It's the other deck from today. All right, so deck, our deck performed a whole lot better than last time. You know, last match against Sultai. We actually had Marwin in play, got some good mana early. Meet my newest friend. I don't know, attacking with Marwin just doesn't even Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. I don't know if I really need to do that, but casting Frilled Mystic is pretty fun. Oops, wrong button. All right, sorry. Um, almost finished with this here, and going to upload. Almost done, almost done. Okay, um, we had Melody, Disdainful Stroke, want both of those in. And I think I still like the Vivian plan 
over banner. I'm not sure though. Maybe not. We just don't play Vivian. Just play banners. Need two Vivian. Okay, and there. All done. Let's, like, on the play, I'm not keeping this, but on the draw. See if we get lucky and draw some more lands. Because this kind of hand. Oh, I thought this was Marwin, not Clan Caller. Well, we drew Marwin anyway. Okay, that's not the worst. So we'll get to play Marwin next turn. No attacks. No blocks. I'm not attacking, I'm not blocking, I'm just being nice. You can be nice to opponent, you don't need to attack or block. Let's just sit back and play our cards. Playing cards is fun. Attacking and blocking, not fun. Not fun at all. Um... Definitely consider just having Frilled Mystic available, but our opponent's just not really incentivized to attack if that's the case. These things are elves. Alright, so I played this one kind of bad. Hmm. Pro Mystic will still die. Go to one. I played this one pretty bad. 
need to just <clears throat> need to take advantage of that that turn that I had. Beasts Marwin out and like the extra four mana and humans. everything better. I certainly can play that better. Okay. Game three. Yeah, I know. Yeah, our opponent's here in chat. It's all good. That's part of streaming. You just have a, some opponents feel like, you know, it's worth it to to watch your hand and everything, even though it's just a, you know, a little league here on Arena that they... Some people care about winning that much, but oh well. Good luck, good luck, Sil. All right, so definitely like our start here. You know, turn to Steel Leaf, being able to back it up with a Frilled Mystic. Great start. And we're we're basically just priced into countering anything. So like anything our opponent plays there. I'm just countering, uh, getting more on the battlefield here, and Frilled Mystic is just the perfect draw, so that should just be game. That was basically our perfect hand. Turn two, Steel Leaf. Turn three, Frilled Mystic. Turn four, Frilled Mystic. That's just, that's just the perfect hand. So, still needs double cast down. Should go on the plant. You know, the plant's contempt there should go on upkeep before I draw it. Because I don't know. I guess I could could have drawn like the frilled mystic right there. That was perfect draw for us. Basically, perfect hand. All right, two and one. Two and one. Deck looked a lot more impressive that time than what it did against Sultai the first time when we were mulliganing into Oblivion. Alright, Jin Maru. Cool name. All right, on the play. We lost to Sultai uh, the round before that and then defeated Sultai the next round. Um, my hands were pretty bad both games against Sultai and we just got ran over. Love that forest draw. So we can play this other clan caller here. And then just attack. Or just not attack? No attacks? No attacks. Yeah, no attacks. Yeah, definitely keeping the counter magic open, which means we need Marwyn plus the two lands, because Marwyn only adds green mana. But I did not attack because if our opponent, you know, gates a blazes, we counter it. If they don't gates a blaze, we would just activate the clan caller and go grab another clan caller. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can play Frilled Mystic for 15. Not lethal, but yeah, we'll just keep the Frilled Mystic open here. Should just be game. All 
All right, get those negates in there. Get another melody for the rams. Could see taking out banner. No. No, we need to keep banner. Yeah, Frilled Mystic is awesome. When you have, especially when you have so much mana, like we have with this deck. What are we thinking here? Do I maybe just don't want Melody? I'll just go wider the Melody? I don't think I really care about Guild Summit. We don't even technically know if they have rams. But let's go with this. Yeah. Be so good with the green source. Eh, by so good, I mean pretty good. Incubation Druid Marwin is awesome. I could see Clan... Actually, Clan Caller is probably the cut. Because Clan Caller just makes their... You know, does nothing but gets swept. Yeah, Clan Caller should be the cut. Yeah, I should just cut Clan Callers. And then that could leave me, that could give me the other two melodies plus two other spells that I want, um, like probably two Vivians. Did I did I get rid of Vivians? I should definitely play Vivians in this matchup. Yeah, we'll have Banner on three, which is great. But then uh, what do we have after that? Who knows? Nothing right now. Do you think Mox Amber is finally going to become a big card once War is released? No, I think. It will see some play. Big card, no. But it will be more important than it is now. And I think it will mostly see... The biggest thing is it's going to see some play early on in the format while people are trying on decks. Whether it will stay in the format whenever the metagame kind of settles down and we kind of figure out like the best things to happen. That's uh, the best things to be playing. That's to be seen, but... At least to start with, it will. C play. Good draw. We don't have to worry about too much about, uh, you know, extending into a Wrath because our cards do replace themselves. And glad we have the melody. Whew. Perfect draw. Maskalar, that's all, that one's on you. Maskalar said, best draw would be a Growth Chamber Guardian. Thank you very much for that Growth Chamber Guardian. I really do appreciate it. I want to keep this Frilled Mystic available. I'll just... I'll just pass here. Do I even counter this? I kind of think no. Like, it's just an 8 8. What actually beats us? It's got to be like a, a Wrath or something, right? 
pretty sure we can handle an 8-8. I guess it is an annoying 8-8. I'll probably entrancing melody th that thing here pretty soon. Hmm. Is this with disdainful stroke? I don't want to skip my turn. Crap. I, I need to use this three mana on this Growth Chamber Guardian. I mean, need is a, is a strong word there, but... Okay. Whew. Banner looked good there. Definitely liked the banner there. That The plus one, plus one was pretty clutch, too. All right, we are three and one. I was like, besides that one match that we had against Sultai, where we didn't, uh, you know, where our deck didn't look so good, you know, like we just had like some bad mulligans, didn't really do very much. The decks looked really impressive besides that. We've had um, a lot of good wins and like wins where the games just aren't close. It's a good question. Uh, Schwaggeroni asked, how necessary are the clan callers? It's hard to say. It's possible not that necessary. It is a solid card. It's really, really great with Marwyn. I don't think there's really anything better for the dedicated elf deck in that slot. And it, it does make like some of your, your cards like Steel Leaf Champion. Uh, for example, a lot better. I'm certainly really scared of what our opponent's going to be doing here. I think I need a Frilled Mystic this turn. I think this is like a Vivian or something like that. Hey, what's up, Zerf? Alright, wasn't as scary. But they were probably playing around a counter by doing that. Um, don't want to see Krasis on their side. They have, you know, a lot of mana as well. Do not want to see Krasis over there. Just on the streetcar home. Ooh. Later day for you tonight than last night. So, while Unclaimed Territory is good at casting all these things, uh, I guess, you know, not Krasis, but, like, you know, it's good at helping with Steel Leaf Champion for Old Mystic, it doesn't really cast your Entrancing Melody at all. 
And honestly, I've been just kind of happy with the guild gates, you know, like, you don't have to, sure, it comes in to play tabs, but you don't have to worry about, um, yuck. You don't have to worry about, like, you know, not being able to play your Entrancing Melody or your Hydroid Crisis or your sideboard counter magic because your, you know, suppose your quote-unquote blue source is unclaimed territory. That just takes up their turn. Man, Entrancing Melody. Speaking of Entrancing Melody, that would be so great. Taking that Incubation Druid. Ugh, that would be a great draw for us. Let's just go with four. Draw two. I guess the four is only... Yeah. Steel Leaf just doesn't really matter. I want to try to draw some other things. Alright, they found their blue mana, so now they get to Krasis. Wild animals draw and fire. You can't stop nature. So we'll be able to activate Clan Caller next turn to get another Clan Caller for the Steel Leaf. Well, never mind. Just perfect card off of Vivian there. If only we could have found a Melody to get rid of this Incubation Druid. That finality killing my Marwyn. Looking good for the home team here. The wilds are my shield. No, Vivian's going to take over now. Yeah, we could certainly play some mass manipulations. That was something we were talking about. Uh, Last time we played Sultai 2, the, it's basically just for this matchup, but maybe we should have a mass, like, you know, just like one mass manipulation in the sideboard. What? Sweet. That worked. I'll take it. I gotta play D, I'm at 10. Balance comes. I hope they attack with the Steel Leaf. I don't really want you to attack with these other things. Oh my gosh. I didn't I got to activate first. Crap, cuz of Steel Leaf's ability. 
I gotta activate the incubation druid first. Duh. <sighs> oh well, we're winning that one anyway. All right, stroke, melody, Vivian, banner, lieutenant. Hmm. I was already in the blocking phase. I wasn't going to be able to block the Steel Leaf anymore. I could still block the Hostage Taker. But it doesn't really matter. They have tons of cards in hand. The Krasis. I don't, I don't have anything in my deck besides the two Melodies and the one Vivian for the Krasis. And they still have their Vivian going. We're not winning them. I was already in the blocker step. I couldn't adapt to them block. We were already in the blocker step there. We got the aggressive start. Never mind, we got nothing. How can Sultai kill a Carnage Tyrant? They just block it. Can just use multiple creatures to double block. They can use <clears throat> um, use a very large Wild Growth Walker. Use a crisis. I'm so jealous of the opponents. Incubation druid right about now. Come on, land. Looks like this is gonna come this is gonna be the end of us here. Uh no, Carnage Tyrant would not be good here. We have four lands. Would not be good. So still six cards in hand. I'm so jealous of that incubation druid. But no, I, I don't want Carnage Tyrant in this matchup overall. This Krasis just outclassed Carnage Tyrant. It's not not a necessary card. Now I'm sure they have finality now. Standard's all about who spends more mana, and our, our opponents spent way more mana than us. I, I don't think we have any chance of winning this game. We can't compete with four lands you know, against their... They're just tripling that. 
after a land drop here. Well, basically, yeah, we, this one's over. Extra point in the air. Can we get some attacks in the air somehow? The wild wasn't meant to be contained. All right, so three and two, both losses to Sultai, but we did beat Sultai also. It was basically if we. You know, like, is is basically just who has the faster start of like the mana creatures and everything. And you would think that would, that should uh, um, favor us, considering we have four elves, four druids, three Marwins. But we just had a lot of games there where we we're just getting stuck on lands and or, or uh, opponent playing sweeper. Like finality, the game one. Uh, you know, like we had the mana advantage game one until the finality, and then they had the mana advantage after that. Uh, they both of those games. Our opponent had incubation druids, which were just huge. You don't usually see those from Sultai. The other time we we lost to Sultai, we just you know had mold of fives and stuff like that, uh, and didn't put up much of a fight. Then we did, you know, beat you know had real impressive games against Sultai also, where we had seven card hands and fast starts and our mana creatures that stayed alive. So that's the kind of thing there. If we, so the card that we're talking about is like mass manipulation. If we play mass manipulations, so like melody is good against aggro. Also, I don't think I want to take out the third melody because it's good against aggro. But if we, we could certainly play one over a carnage tyrant. Carnage tyrant's basically only for esper control. And we're probably, like, the banner is an upgrade over Esper Control anyway. And, and like, with the Counter Magic and, like, the Frilled Mystics main, I think we're okay in that matchup anyway. So uh, I can certainly play one there. The It's basically if we'd want to play another one over Carnage Tyrant again. But I think I'd want to just play the one and try that out to start with. But that's, you know, that's a somewhere to keep your eye on um, if we want more mass manipulations. Honestly, I don't. I don't think our soul tie matchup is horrible. Um, we've had some pretty decent success against it in the past. Uh, just, you know, not not two of those three games. You know, when we play three matches against a, a deck where we're going to be pretty close, we're probably going to either win two of the three or lose two of the three. Um, and this this time we were on the lose two of the three, but that doesn't mean that we need to. Completely change everything about the deck. Besides that, new cards. Banner looked pretty good. I liked it. Do not really like it against Vivian. That's like the one part where I didn't really like it. But besides that, it looked really good. Vivian was did her thing. She was just fine. So. Um, why do I have 59? Krasis. I just moved a Krasis out there for some reason. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to try the next time we, we try this deck is taking out the Carnage Tyrant, taking out one Carnage Tyrant for a mass manipulation. I think that is a, a pretty good um, add to the deck for the mid-range matchups. Uh, yeah, I think that could be um, a good card for the deck to have because it, it can get a lot of mana. All right, so that's Simic Elves. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you hit the subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.